A galvanometer having coil resistance 10 ohm shows a full scale dis- deflection for a current of 3 milliampere. So this is having a coil resistance of 10 ohm and how much uh, current 3 milliampere is the you know, yeah. for it to measure a current of 8 ampere the value of the shunt should be okay so now this is uh, like uh, for to measure a current of 8 ampere so what is being measured as current so therefore the galvanometer is actually converted into ammeter and how we convert it into ammeter by having a resistance in parallel so this is the shunt resistance in parallel now it is what is being said it has to measure current of 8 ampere okay so therefore 8 ampere should be like in the circuit okay so if but the capacity is only 3 milliampere okay if you know, 3 milliampere se agar jada current pass ho jayega so the galvanometer will get damaged so therefore how much current should be passing through the shunt resistance it should be 8 ampere minus 3 milliampere theek hai to ab 8 ampere minus 3 milliampere is basically you know equivalent to you know approximately equal to 8 ampere only okay because it's 3 milliampere is quite negligible so therefore now if you see the shunt resistance and this galvanometer resistance both are in parallel so therefore their potential difference must be the same so therefore i can write 8 ampere into rs should be equal to 3 milliampere into 10 ohms so therefore the shunt resistance becomes 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 divided by 8 ohms so this is 30 divided by 8 milli ohms which is uh, uh, 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 ohms so therefore the answer becomes c okay thank you